friends, my name is Anna. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to show you how to make spinach and artichoke dip. This, in my opinion, is the best spinach and artichoke dip I've ever had. I really didn't care much for spinach and artichoke dip until I made this recipe. Every time I order it at a restaurant, I feel like it was just like too cheesy, too greasy, and I didn't really care for it that much, but this recipe has just the right amount of cheese, in my opinion. It has the right amount of richness. It's pretty perfect, and I know when you try it, you will feel the same way. So here are the suspects that you're going to need for your spinach and artichoke dip. You're gonna need some salt and pepper, of course, always. And here I have some white cheddar. Everything's freshly grated. This is important um, if you want your cheese to really like melt in a beautiful way. So some white cheddar, a little bit of mozzarella, mayo, sour cream, canned um, artichokes, so you can see, it's not a lot because I'm only making half the recipe today. I made this recipe a few, probably like one, two weeks ago, and I remembered how much I love it. And I was like, you know what? Super Bowl is coming up, so this is the perfect recipe to share. So some canned artichoke, some frozen spinach that has been thawed out completely. You want to let it thaw. And you also want to remove all of the excess liquid. If you don't do this, you're gonna end up with a really watery dip and nobody likes that. So make sure, so you can see, it is pretty dry. A pinch of garlic powder. I like to add another pinch of hot pepper flakes. You don't have to do this. It just provides a little bit of a kick. I don't like to add too much because in general, spinach and artichoke dip doesn't really require pepper flakes, but just a little bit provides a little bit of a little bit of a kick that really balances the richness and the cheesiness from this dip. And another ingredient which really helps for that is the zest from a, well, I, I only do like the zest from half a lemon and this provides a little bit of brightness and it just like makes everything really good and delicious. So those are the ingredients. Again, this is something that comes together very, very quickly and easy, which is my favorite thing to make. You can actually make it ahead of time, like the night before or the day before, and you can bake it whenever you're ready. So let's get started. I have a medium bowl here. Like I said, I'm only doing half the recipe just because it's just gonna be for Adrian and I, and I don't want to, I don't want anything to go to waste. Um, really important that your cream cheese, it's very, very, um, you can see mine is a room temperature, so it's really, really creamy and soft. You want a very soft cream cheese so you can properly blend it. I'm also going to add my mayo and sour cream. This is kind of like a one bowl situation. You just add everything to it and it's gonna come out delicious. So that's that. Now I like to mix this first, just for a second. You don't have to, but I'm gonna use a little whisk. I just like mine kind of really creamy and I don't want uh, chunks, like cream cheese chunks in mine. So I'm just gonna, and I give it a good, a good whisk so everything it's really nice and smooth. In goes the garlic powder. A little bit of garlic powder really provides really nice flavor. Your chopped spinach, if yours is not chopped, which I believe all frozen spinach come chopped, then you might need to chop it. And I'm going to roughly chop my artichokes as well. So let me do that. Also, I recommend that you use, um, you buy artichokes in water. I've seen them in oil as well, and that's just not gonna work. So make sure yours are in water and you want to drain all of that water too, because otherwise you're gonna end up with a really watery dip, and we don't want that. Okie dokie, this looks perfect for me. We add this right into our bowl. I like to add, like I said, a small pinch of pepper flakes, some salt, 
bit of pepper. When I get the zest, you can do less or more. I like to add all of the mozzarella, half of the parm and half of the cheddar because the other half I'm going to sprinkle on top so the top gets really nice and golden and crispy and delicious. So now we just mix all of this together. Like I said, this is just, it's really simple and delicious. I have a little cast iron here. So I'm just gonna add it all to my little cast iron here. I'm just gonna even it out, the top, just like so. And now I sprinkle on the remaining of the cheese. And this is gonna give you a really nice, cheesy, golden crust, which again, I absolutely love. So I have my oven preheated to 375, and this is going to bake for about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'll see you back here to show you the final result. My spinach artichoke dip is out of the oven. Let me get, wait. Let me get this little thing so I can really show you. I want you guys to see, I hope you guys can see how golden and delicious. Look. Hmm. It's absolute perfection. It's really cheesy really creamy, but not in an overpowering way. It's not greasy. It's just so good, so good. Honestly, the best, best Spanish and artichoke dip. This is the recipe, hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you check out my website at anitasdelightsrecipes.com for the full written recipe. You can also find a link to it in the description box. Like I said, I hope you enjoyed. Share with your friends and family and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.